Hey guys, it's Richard Butler here again with another video. And today's tool is really useful if you share links on the web and you wanna know who is actually clicking on those links, where they're clicking on it, and how popular the links are. And also if you want to ensure that, for example, if you're an affiliate marketer, that nobody robs your commissions. So here is where the problem is. Um, you sign up to promote something. Maybe it's an Amazon uh, product because you've done a product review of it. And then what happens is um, you put the link out there and the problem is that you can't really track who's clicked on the link, where they came from, what browsers they were using, etc. And then the other problem that can happen is that the link actually may change or the product may no longer go on sale. And then you're sending traffic to a link that is actually not working. I mean, there's lots of options out there that you can use. Some of them are paid. Some of them have a problem that um, LinkedIn or Facebook or certain email programs don't really like them. So I was looking for a really good one because I got uh, messed around by a previous one that I was using. And I came across this one called switchy.io. So what switchy.io lets you do is to create links either on their domain or, and this is really important, you can do it on your own custom domain. And I'll tell you why that's really important just in one second. So let's have a look at creating a link using their own domain. So if I just go in here, I'm in my account and I go to links and I go create new link. So I'm gonna put in a website here and I'm gonna put in one ireland.com and I wanna see how many people are clicking from that site. Let me just refresh the preview here and it automatically pulls in all the information about that link. Now I can change all of this if I wish. So I could uh, you know, visit Ireland to find out the best deals, go to ireland.com. Now I can put in these UTM tags so I can track better. So I can say this uh, link I'm gonna post on Facebook and that allows me then to know where the traffic is coming from because I can create separate links for Facebook for LinkedIn or for any other social media. Let's say I'm doing advertising on Facebook and Instagram, I can set up the links for those two different platforms. Now, I choose a domain name. Now, I've already set up two domains, but I could use swiy.co or highswitchy.io. Or what I would recommend, which is even better, is to use your own domain. Okay, so I'm gonna use this one here. Richard recommends this and I'm going to call it Ireland. Now, you'll see what the link comes up as. I have I have advanced features here. So I can put this and categorize it into folders. So I have ones for um, English language sharing that I do, for tech, for AppSumo, for PLR, for teaching, etc., and for affiliate. So I'm going to put this under affiliate. And if I want to add a note, I can. Deep linking, I haven't even touched, so I'm not going to explain that. And I just go to get my new link. So this is the link that comes up. So instead of it going to Ireland.com, it goes to this particular link here. Now, let's just open up a new browser here and let's just run that there. Now, it goes to my website, so to speak, Richard recommends forward slash Ireland.com and then it comes up here. Now, if I go to the dashboard, what I can actually do is uh, I put that into affiliates and I see Ireland.com, it has one click and I can copy the link, I can share it. I can actually create a QR code, which I think is really cool because what you can do is you can just go in and you can put in a shape and you can put in colored corners here. Um, let me just change the, the colors here. I could put in a background color. Okay, so I can really make things quite interesting for my QR code, that looks awful. But instead of, um, just giving a link, you could put this on a business card, for example. So that's that's one of the things I can do. Or I can have a look at the actions and the analytics. So what's gonna come up now is this is gonna tell me when it was created, how many clicks I got, how many different users, referrers, device. So if we go down here, we should see that, well, it says the referrer was unknown because I just uh, put the link in directly. It was from Spain, that's correct. The browser Safari, correct, it's a Mac. And well, they call it PC here, which they shouldn't because PCs are not Macs. But it also gives me the UTM tags here. Now, I can also use retargeting pixels, something I don't use, maybe I should use, but um, it gives me all of that information there. So what this means is, let's say you have um, a link 
and I'll just go back to this one and I've put this all over the web and suddenly the website changes. Now, here's the problem. Let's say I've put up YouTube uh, videos and I wasn't using a link shortener. I was just using a raw affiliate link, which could be something like hop, doc, click, bang, forward, slash, blah, 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 blah. I would have to go to every single video, every single resource that I actually have ever put this link into and I'd have to edit everything. If I'm using um, one of these systems like this, especially if I'm using my own domain name, what I can actually do is I could just go in here and edit this and I could actually just change that to another site. So I might change this to um, nyc.com if that site actually exists. Uh, New York's uh, office, okay, for Broadway. Now, it doesn't matter because what I do is I update my link and I copy that and it's still the same URL, but now I can direct the traffic to another particular site. It's happened to me in the past that I've been promoting something and it's no longer on sale for whatever reason and people still click on the link and it drives it to a non-existent page. So with a system like this, with something like switchy.io, you have full control over your links. And now it shows me that there's two clicks on that particular link. So this is really important. The second thing that I think is really important is this ability here that you can use your own domain name. Because let's say you are using um, their one that was switch.io. If their site goes down, or if they go out of business, which they won't, but if they were to, you would have to then go and recreate all the links again on another system. When you have your own domain set up, what it means is all you have to do is copy the links and put it into the new system. And this happened to me with the other one that I was uh, working with, I think it was called Links Shorter. And the problem is they've decided now that they're gonna start, even though they, they had a special offer, Oh, by the way, this one is on special offer as well, and there's a link in the description. But even though they had a special offer, um, they've now decided that unless you pay three or four dollars a month, you can no longer use their service. So a lot of people are complaining about this. But luckily, since I had this domain, Richard recommends this. All I had to do was set it up on this new system and then create exactly the same URLs and put all of the content back in. Okay, I've lost my historical data of clicks, etc., but that's okay. So this is a really, really powerful piece of software. If you're sharing links anywhere, no matter what it is, even links to your website, let's say you do a LinkedIn post, you could put the link in like this, in this, uh, you know, Richard recommends this, uh, learn English with Richard. It goes to your website, but you can then track exactly how many links or how many clicks came from a particular link. Now there are other things that you can do here. There's integrations that you can integrate this with different tools. I haven't even looked at this. Um, I have my account here, I have my settings. And with my settings here, I can set up different custom domains, okay? So I can put in a different domain here. I have, this is another website that I run, privateenglishclass.com. I share English resources and I use clicks.privateenglishclasses.com forward slash resource and then I know exactly who is clicking on my links. Now, do you need this? Well, it's like everything. I mean, do you need anything um, when it comes to software? But I think, I think this is really useful because it gives you a lot of information that you can start saying, well, actually, let's have a look. Um, my links on Facebook don't get as much traction as in LinkedIn or if you're running advertising. The um, Facebook ads that I ran didn't give me as many clicks as the Instagram or the TikTok ad that I ran. And you can be very precise there. You can find out exactly which links and which platforms are working best for you. Now, if you share links on any site, I would recommend that you get this. Not only do you um, get the custom domains, but you also get that QR code because I mean, you could also put up ads in supermarkets for whatever you do or in on notice boards and you can track those links as well. So you know that they came from that particular link and not from uh, they found you in a report that you shared or a Facebook. I mean, with an online business, and I'm guilty of this, but I'm getting better. It's really important that we track all of our sources of um, clients, of potential clients, of leads, of email signups, etc. 
And I do think that this is going to do exactly what you need. If you have any questions, let me know below. And of course, this is on special, um, or it was depending on when you watch this video, just click on the link in the description and I'll answer any questions that you have. So talk to you very soon. Make sure that you subscribe, make sure that you like this video so that you can be notified when I actually upload my next review video. Have a great day.